Hello again, I'm Miss Adela, and today we're going to learn about the life cycle of a mango. We have a really fun activity prepared for you. Let's get started. What you will need for this activity is a mango, your step-by-step -step directions, possibly some gloves. I'm going to use some gloves, some uh, paper towels, a damp paper towel, it's just a little bit wet, and a Ziploc baggie, a plastic knife, and some kind of scissors or something to cut the seed just a little bit. You will see what I mean with that in a second. So let's start by putting on our gloves. Or you don't really need the gloves. It does get a little messy, which is why I will use gloves. But it's just a mango. We eat mangoes. Nothing's going to happen to your hands except they will get sticky. So it's okay not to use gloves, but you can. So step one says carefully cut the mango into pieces to get really close to the seed. Watch out, it might be a bit slippery. The seed is actually inside this outside coat. So you will see what I mean with that in just a second. So I'm going to use a plastic knife. Ooh, it works. I was worried that a plastic knife wouldn't work, but it does. It's going to get really messy. So this is a really ripe mango. So you want to use a ripe mango. Um, that way it's easier for you to cut through with a plastic knife. And if you hear some noises in the background, that's my dog. He's eating his snacks and drinking his water. So don't mind him. So you want to cut it. Oh, it smells so good. Cut it into pieces. Get to the seed. Now, you, if you're doing this at your desk, you're definitely going to need a tray and stay on the tray. Don't get it all over your desk. Definitely messier than the life cycle of a avocado but still cool. Okay, so I'm trying to get really close to the seed. Okay. See? This is the outer layer. This is the outer coating. Let me use a paper towel. Maybe I can get some of this outer coating off so you can see better. I see that. Okay, so sometimes you can find an opening and you can split this in half, but other times you can't and you have to cut it. So there is a little bump right here. This is where the seed is. Usually at the front right here, the seed is not there. So it's okay to do a little cut there so your teacher might have to do this for you because it's pretty difficult and I don't want anyone to get hurt. So at this point, the teacher might have to walk around and do these cuts for those of you who don't see an opening. But now you see there's an opening there. And at this point, you can use your hands and your fingers to open this up. No, oh, uh, mine is pretty difficult. So. I have to cut all the way around. Let me cut a little bit more. Be very careful not to damage the seed. So I'm only doing it, I'm only cutting at the edge. Only went around the edge. Okay, so let's take a look see now. Whoop. telling you it is very slippery okay so now you're gonna open it up there it is it's in there okay now you're going to 
take it out and that's the seed and this one actually has an extra layer that you want to peel off if yours is still on and here it is so the next step is to actually wash this you want to wash off all the mango meat and all the mango juices because when you wrap this in the damp paper towel you don't want any any bacteria on it so we're gonna just rinse it in water and then I'm gonna show you the next step are right, on step Four. Step four says place a damp paper towel inside a Ziploc bag and place it near a window so it stays warm. Check on the seed every week to make sure there is no mold. It is okay to replace the damp towel with a new one if you see stains. So I have my damp paper towel here and my washed mango seed. So now you're going to wrap the mango seed in the towel like so, and you are going to close it like this and place it in a Ziploc bag. So let's open up the Ziploc bag. And if you're doing this, uh, in table groups or with a partner or by yourself. You want to write your table group name here or your name so that you know which seed belongs to who. And then so you just place this somewhere by the window. It doesn't have to go on the window, just somewhere where it's warmish. And check on it every week because sometimes you will see some stains on the towel and you might need to wrap it in a new paper towel, new damp paper towel. At the same time, you want to use this activity sheet to draw your observations. So maybe today your first drawing would be uh, just a seed, how it looks like, or you're drawing the mango, write today's date somewhere here, and then write your observations, maybe how it smelled, what it looks like, and so forth. And then next week, you draw something else when you when you open up the Ziploc baggie or it might or you might not see anything new next week so maybe your uh, observations will be in two weeks maybe then you will see something so you would write and draw that draw that here and then write your descriptions there okay I hope this activity is a lot of fun for you I hope you really enjoyed this video and I'm excited to do more fun activities with you next time. Bye-bye.